I'm looking for Mel Monroe. Who's asking? Her father. Virgin River is getting a lot of attention right now, but some fans are wondering if the show is too predictable. However, those who have read the books might have a different opinion. Let's dive into what we can expect from the upcoming Season 6. Virgin River fans have been hooked on the Netflix series, but there's ongoing discussion about how it compares to the original Virgin River books by Robin Carr. Some fans note differences, like Mel not having a baby in the books. The relationship between Mel and Jack keeps viewers on edge, yet those familiar with the book series know there's more to explore. Adapting a 21-book series for TV inevitably led to changes, affecting storylines, characters, and major events. While the Netflix series and books don't always align, the upcoming sixth season offers more tales on the screen. Book fans can find comfort knowing the original stories still exist, even as the show continues to tweak characters and plot lines. Preacher and Paige's relationship in the Virgin River TV show on Netflix caused a divide among fans, differing from the book's touching love story. In the books, Paige's journey from an abusive marriage and her connection with Preacher develop naturally. However, the show added drama for tension, leading to some fans feeling the portrayal became less believable and ultimately disrupted their happy ending. In the Virgin River books, Mel and Jack aren't always the main focus, unlike the TV series where they take center stage in every season. Showrunner Sue Tenney explained that she specifically selected characters from the books to highlight in the series, choosing Mel and Jack as the central leads. There are lots of strong relationships, but not all the romances from the novels are in the show. Some characters from the books didn't make it to the Netflix series. One of them is Vanessa, from the book Second Chance Pass. Vanessa comes to live in Virgin River after losing her husband. She's looking to find love again and forms a connection with her late husband's friend. This is just one example of characters in the Virgin River books that you won't see in the TV show. Furthermore, in the books compared to the TV show, one notable difference is the timeline. The TV series covers one year since Mel started living in Virgin River, while the book series spans a larger time frame, allowing for more detailed explanations. The fast-paced nature of the Netflix series contrasts with the more leisurely pace of the printed page, considering there are 19 books in the series. Another interesting difference involves Lizzie's storyline. In the book series, Lizzie is pregnant during her early high school years, adding a dramatic element to her character. However, this storyline was not included in the Netflix series, likely due to the already intense pregnancy plots and to maintain a unique dynamic in Lizzie's relationship with Ricky. What's more, there's a significant difference regarding the paternity of Charmaine's babies. While the TV series initially aligned with the books by suggesting the twins were Jack's, it was later revealed in Season 5 that Jack wasn't the father, bringing the show and books into closer alignment in this aspect. Another notable distinction is in the way Mel's husband passes away. In the books, he dies in a convenience store robbery crossfire, while in the show, his life ends in a car accident. This change alters the circumstances of his death, shifting from an act of violence to a tragic accident, adding a unique element to Mel's grief. Additionally, the introduction of characters in the books differs in timing compared to the TV series. According to fans on Reddit, many characters in the novels enter the storyline much later than they do in the Netflix series. This variance is acknowledged by showrunner Sue Tenney, who mentioned the necessity of selecting specific characters from the extensive book cast to feature in the show. The books provide an extensive collection of 21 novels, with the first two being Virgin River and Shelter Mountain. A fan of both the books and the TV series observed that season one of Virgin River on Netflix amalgamated the concepts and plots of these initial two books. This blending of plots in the show might be perplexing for those comparing the Virgin River books versus the TV series, as it involves combining events and even omitting certain confrontations and relationships from the original Netflix adaptation. With that being said, Netflix has exciting news for Virgin River fans. As they kick off Season 6, they've announced the development of a prequel. The series, led by Alexandra Breckenridge as Mel Monroe, 
follows her journey in a small northern California town. Now, Netflix is exploring a prequel focusing on Mel's mother, Sarah, and her biological father, Everett. Production for season six has officially begun. Considering Netflix's trend of expanding popular shows, a Virgin River prequel aligns with their strategy. Past spin-offs like Bridgerton's Queen Charlotte, A Bridgerton Story, and the To All the Boys trilogy's XO Kitty were hits. However, not all spin-offs succeed, as seen with The Witcher Blood Origin. If Netflix goes ahead with the Virgin River prequel, it faces challenges, but the groundwork laid by season 5's ending could pave the way for its success. The audience response to flashbacks and the promise of more Sarah and Everett storylines might just make it a hit. As for Virgin River Season 6, the exact plot remains a mystery, but it's likely to pick up threads from Season 5. Jack and Mel are still grappling with the miscarriage, adding more challenges to their relationship. The couple's plan to renovate Lily's farm serves as a distraction but could potentially create new tensions. The Christmas episodes concluding Season 5 were more than just festive tales. Mel's journey to discover her parentage unfolded throughout the season, culminating in a significant moment. In the final episode, she meets her biological father, and the anticipation builds as he confesses to having a secret. Fans eager to uncover the truth will have to wait for Virgin River Season 6 to unveil the details. Virgin River showrunner Patrick Sean Smith has hinted at the duration of the time jump for Season 6, following the holiday-themed finale of Season 5. While the last two episodes of the previous season featured a time jump centered around the holidays, Season 6 will start with a more extended time leap, taking place after several months. Smith expressed uncertainty about the exact duration, but clarified that Season 6 won't immediately continue with the holiday events. The culmination of Season 5 resolved significant storylines and set the stage for future developments. Charmaine's pregnancy journey, present since Season 1, concluded with the birth of her twins, indicating a new chapter in her life. Mel and Jack's decision to start a family on their terms adds another layer to the narrative, justifying the need for a substantial time jump. Considering that only six months have passed in Virgin River by the end of Season 5, a more extended time jump in Season 6 makes sense. This approach allows the characters to be strategically positioned, emphasizing the importance of the recent plot developments. The upcoming season will likely showcase Charmaine navigating the early stages of motherhood, and viewers can anticipate revelations about what Everett Reed disclosed to Mel after the Season 5 finale's cliffhanger. With numerous engaging storylines established in Virgin River's Christmas special, Season 6 seems poised for justified narrative progression. Smith's intention to introduce a new sense of beginning for the characters and stories reinforces the significance of letting time elapse to bring the planned directions to fruition. While the Virgin River TV series maintains a PG-rated approach, the potential prequel, if it aligns more closely with the content of the original romance novels, might lean towards an R-rated tone. The books that inspired the show are classified as romance novels and are known for containing more explicit or mature content, particularly in depicting intimate relationships between characters. In contrast, the TV series has adopted a more family-friendly, Hallmark-based style, aiming to appeal to a broad audience. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.